This is gonna be insane! If you move to Madrid, you will see that Spaniards take the sports very seriously here. From football, going through paddle to cycling, the sport for everyone here to enjoy in Spain. So today we'll go to the stadium to watch live something very, very special. The best tournament in Europe, the best team in Lithuania versus the best team in Spain. The most popular sport in Lithuania versus the second most popular sport in Spain. What I'm talking about? Of course, basketball. Even if you don't like basketball, you are not a fan or you are not an expert, don't worry. I'm not an expert either. But the story behind the basketball is the reason I'm making this video. Of course, I'm going to take you to the stadium with me. So hopefully you can feel the vibe and understand why this sport is so important for these both countries. All right, so basketball is the second most important sport in Spain. And the league called Liga ACB or Liga Andesa for sponsorship purposes is the best league in Europe. And many of those teams, they play in the Euro League. So if you're a football fan, think of it as the Champions League. The best teams in Europe playing every year, facing each other. Of course, in football, the qualification process is different. It doesn't matter who you are, you still need to go through the qualification. And in this EuroLeague, there's uh, 13 members that they don't need to qualify every year, they are just there. As expected, both Real Madrid and Barcelona, they have basketball teams and they play in the EuroLeague as well. And they are quite successful, especially when it comes to Real Madrid. They won 10 times the EuroLeague, so this is insane. It's so difficult to win the EuroLeague, it's such a big achievement. When it comes to the country level, Spain has also been super successful over the years. In fact, they are ranked number two in the world only after the USA, of course. But they won three Olympic silver medals, one bronze and many other titles. And the most successful player, Pau Gasol, he played in the NBA in LA Lakers and he won twice the championship. And all this success obviously inspired a lot of new generations and some existing players to raise their level. And basketball became even more popular over the years and Spain became more and more more successful. But what about Lithuania? Well, basketball in Lithuania is something very, very unique. Truly the number one sport by a mile. Don't be surprised if Lithuanians they say that basketball is like their second religion. How is it possible that a country with less than 3 million people is so successful and why is so popular? Okay, so disclaimer first. My wife, Christina, is Lithuanian and I've been traveling to Lithuania for many, many years. After speaking with locals, my theory is that the American Lithuanian coaches and players brought basketball to Lithuania in the late 1920s. And then in the 30s, there was this guy called Paranas Lubinas, the grandfather of Lithuanian basketball. He won two Eurobaskets in 1937 as a player and 1939 as a player and as a coach. So those two rather unexpected victories were the reason why basketball became so successful and so popular in Lithuania. So the future seemed super bright for Lithuania, but then then World War II came and Lithuania was occupied by the Soviet Union. Those dreams of becoming the best basketball nation crashed. But Lithuania never stopped believing. They were so good that in the Olympics in 1988 in Seoul, in Korea, four starting players out of five in the Soviet Union team were Lithuanians and they won the gold medal. So a year later in 1989, something magical was about to happen. The three brothers in the Baltics, Lithuania, Latvia and Estonia formed a peaceful protest against the Soviet Union. It was like 600 human chain kilometers. Another year later in 1990, Lithuania regained its independence. And in 1992, in the Olympics in Barcelona, Lithuania won the bronze medal. Imagine the Lithuanian people 
uh, what they felt it's just very hard to explain I can imagine so if you haven't watched yet I made another video explaining why Lithuania is the most underrated country in Europe but there's also a very good movie explaining this called they are the dream team and dream team obviously because dream team in 1992 everyone thought it was Michael Jordan Magic Johnson and all the real dream team in the US who ultimately won the Olympics but the other dream team in this case was Lithuania so from my perspective that's the reason why basketball is so important in Lithuania it's much more than basketball it started as a sport and then it went beyond that one last thing don't ever call Lithuanians Russians because they have their own language their own territory their own freedom This stadium is originally the Palacio de Deportes in Madrid and you can host 15,000 people here approximately. So I think it's very similar to Jalgiro Arena, right? It's gonna be interesting. I wanna see how many Lithuanians will come today to Madrid to support Jalgiris. I love Lithuania, I love Jalgiris. I'm rooting for them today, but I'm not blind. It's gonna be tough. Eight matches, eight losses for Jalgiris. But at least I expect them to put a fight, a good battle, show that this is temporary and they can go through it. Ready to watch, we have here Real Madrid team. I can't believe I'm here. Jalgiris, Real Madrid. This is gonna be insane. Very excited to be so close to my, to my people. <laughs> so hopefully you guys call us Jalgiris. You can put a good fight today. Not too bad, I expected like a, you know, an overwhelming possession. They're still in the game, they're putting in top five. So I think anything will happen. A good battle, at least for three quarters, they were very, very close. At some point, it was only three points gap. But Real Madrid, they showed they're such a, such a solid team, really, really strong. Nine losses, Jalgiris, but I saw some nice elements today. So hopefully next match is going to be the match for Jalgiris. In the meantime, congratulations Real Madrid. A la Madrid, a la Madrid. Muy bien, impresionante. Time to go home. Hopefully you enjoyed and yeah, see you in the next one.